Hello, this is Captain Fulco. Today we're going to explain how to make a gas tanker gas free. Because in the cargo tanks is always some gas remaining. We need this gas also for cooling down our cargo tanks before the next loading. But now we have to gas free our cargo tanks before dry dock. We have three steps. Steps one after the last discharging we have to heat up our cargo tanks the cargo last cargo is 80 lane this is minus 103 degrees celsius and we have to heat it up until minus 10. Uh, why we want to do this we want to have less uh, vapor in the cargo tank and if we release the pressure afterwards uh, we need this temperature minus 10, otherwise it will become liquid again, and this is not good for the purging process. But the gas will remain in the tank and will give up vapors all the time, so that's why we want to heat up cargo tanks and then release the pressure. This is my third officer, Ginza. Ginza, can you explain me something? What are you doing here, please? I'm just making this. Ah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. This what are we doing here? Now we just starting heating yeah. our cargo tank. Use hot gas from compressor yeah. to the tank via bottom to the liquid line. Via the bottom yeah, in. Yeah, via bottom in. Okay. So we start just this morning. Yeah. We monitor the temperature of the inside cargo tank and also shell outside the cargo tank. Yeah. And we uh monitor and yes like this this is the inside the cargo tank number one two port side starboard side and this number one shell tank top uh 50% off 50% forward bottom and some we record every yeah. four hour okay yeah, every four hour take yeah. the measurements all right that is step one, thank you. Yeah. And the pressure and temperature are related in linear graphic to each other, so yeah, if you heat up, you will have more pressure also in the tank. So once we have heated up until minus 10, we will release the pressure. And when you release the pressure, you will see that the temperature will drop also a little bit again. So, to release this pressure, this gas, we have quite strong wind from starboard side. This is very good. The gas will blow away from the ship. This was our intention. No vessels around, so we don't need to change course for anybody. And we release the gas by our vent mast. Uh, this is our vent mast. And you can see some gas coming out. So after releasing the pressure, after the heating of the cargo tanks, we start purging, purging with our PSA plant. Uh, this makes nitrogen out from the air with a big compressor, an air dryer, and then this pressure absorption switch unit. <coughs> We have to start slowly, slow rate, because actually the density, the specific weight of the ethylene, the gas, is almost the same as nitrogen and as air. And we want to create the blanket and push out the gas. And we don't want to mix it, because otherwise it will take a long time. So we want to push it out in one layer. This is how we do it. And here you see on deck on the cargo tanks these flexible hoses. One is connected to the nitrogen line, top in, and the other one, uh, I will tell you, nitrogen line, uh, top in is yellow, and bottom liquid out is orange. And this one is connected to our vent mast there. <laughs> supply of nitrogen 99.5% uh, only 0.5% air oxygen uh, the rate 
will be 600 kilos an hour and we need about three times the tank volumes to change and we calculated one and a half day for the volume of our tanks <coughs> and why you want to supply nitrogen to your cargo tanks well gas is flammable explosive so we want to get out of this limit this explosion limit before we supply dry air and this is all about safety uh, nitrogen will be supplied uh, with 2 point minus 50 degrees so there will be no condense in the tanks it's quite important also so and during the purging process we take gas measurements of course uh, we have sample points from the cargo tank which I will show you <coughs> different sample points at the top of the tank, the half of the tank, 50% at the bottom of the tank and also the sump, the sump is a small hole where the cargo pump is a section of the cargo pump. to press that chief can you tell me again how this works <laughs> two point meter all right yeah so before we use we must uh, uh, auto calibration to get uh, accurate reading and to, to find uh, moisture in space yeah. like a whole space or cargo tank to know the uh dew per meter it's uh, content of uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay well okay i will explain never mind i i totally uh, did not prepare this for you so uh, okay so here is in there is out yeah. <coughs> morning and this scale we use auto calibrate how much ppm do point uh, now it's off so like this is on okay and we take out fresh air and should be the arrow to the auto call if out of the range auto call we, we adjust from uh, this point by spanner, oh, okay. we, we just to to make the arrow on the line. Yeah. Uh -huh. And after that, if already, we can press down, and we put to reading to the cargo tank. This one to reading. Reading to the cargo tank. Yeah. Put the sample house to the cargo tank, and and pump. Take sample and keep it pump up. And we can read how much the uh, juice going. Okay, thank you. So after all gas measurements, LEL is okay. All is zero. All the tanks. We start dry air. So dry air. We supply with the same unit, PSA unit. Only this time we. Uh, we don't use this nitrogen, we just use the air dryer and we supply dry air. Uh, this rate will be much higher, uh, 1800, 1800 kilos per hour and dew point will be low, so minus 25 because still we don't want any condense in the tank. No water, this we don't like. Uh, oxygen have to be 20.9% in the tank, so we'll see how this goes.